Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Mystical Goddess, back with another video. So it's been a minute, sorry guys, but you know, I work, I got a job, so gotta do what I gotta do. But I haven't forgotten about you guys, and this video is a tutorial on how to make High John the Conqueror oil, and how to do a ritual with him, okay? So that being said, I hope you guys can hear me, my voice isn't too raspy or low, and I'm not going too fast. I'm trying to slow down the tempo a little bit for y'all, okay? So here I have my glass mason jar. I already cleansed it out with my Florida water. Um, you can use sage, whatever you have. You can rinse it out with salt water. If that's all you have, use what you have, okay? I also am burning power incense, which is also known as energy for energy. It's divine power, it's from him, okay? I like to use it because High John is associated with power, okay? So before my thing goes down a little bit, I'm just going to engulf my glass with some High John, not High John, some um, power incense, just to give it some more and amp the energy a little bit while I'm doing the ritual, all right? And I like to go around my space, okay? So this is just a quick tutorial on how you can do this at home for yourself when you are making oils, okay? You can play music, all that good stuff to set you in the mood or the tone, or you can play my video and rewatch it and kind of do it step by step, okay? Alongside with me. So I have now engulfed it with the, some smoke from the incense, which is great. It has the energy that I'm trying to grasp. And a little bit about High John, I'm not going to get too much into his story because there's different variations of it and it can be, it can go into a lengthy video and I don't want it to be that long, okay? So High John the Conqueror is um, associated with Hoodoo and he is one of the most powerful, like, energies you can work with in Hoodoo folklore, okay? Um, this is his root. It's also known as Jalapa. And also known as the High John the Root, uh, High John the Conqueror Root, okay? Don't get it mistaken with Low John. They are not the same, okay? Even though they're both names are John in it, it's not the same at all, okay? Not the same energy and not the same spirit, that's for sure. So what I like to do with this, I like to take my High John Root and I like to soak it in bourbon or um, dark rum, okay? Because I like to feed the spirit of the root, okay, which is high John. So I like to dip it and just as an offering, right? And to give it more power, right? So I like to do that. So I'm just gonna place that in my jar here. Now getting into who high John is, he is an heiress. He is the son of a king. So he is royalty, right? For hence the reason why you see the crown on his candle, okay? Just before I get back into it again, if you guys don't have this, like a candle with his image and stuff like that, I have shown a video previously on how to um, fix a candle. And what you can do is you can just print off his image and place it on there. Or you can get like a black Sharpie and write on your candle, okay? And put High John the Conqueror and so forth, okay? So you work with what you have. Purple is preferable, but you can use white. So now getting back into the little bit of history of High John, I'm kind of going all over the place. But like I said, he's the son of a king, so soon to be a king himself, right? Prince, um, family who reigned very high, but he was taken into captivity, into slavery, and he was one slave that did not um, comply, okay? He was very uh, witty. He was very defiant. He was very successful and mastery like none other, okay? He like overcame his oppressors, okay? And and essentially had was granted his freedom. So he was not one to be messed with, okay? So he is very, 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 very strong. So I would approach him or his energy with great reverence, okay? If you choose to work with him and use this oil or his candle, okay? So now getting into what he can do, he helps with love, he helps with luck, he helps with money, success um and power okay um, just to, to name a few he also helps with cross conditions curses hexes jinxes obstacles of any kind 
and unlocks doors to opportunities, okay? So he's sort of like a road opener. He's like the go-to for everything, okay, in general. So if you have love problems, he can break down those doors. You know, if you have financial issues, if you have, you know, um, you know, I don't know what else can I tell you, money issues, love issues, friendship issues, work employment issues, whatever it is, he can help resolve those things for you, right? So I have here some dragon's blood resin. And if you don't know, dragon's blood resin comes from a tree. It's like the blood, the sap, the heart of the tree. And I like to use this also for empowering and strengthening the work. Okay, so for the oil, I just want to make the oil really, really potent. It's very protective. It's also great for, um, you know, like I said, amplifying. It's great for money, protection, love, any type of the things that I've listed earlier. So it's just doubling up on it, okay? So I also have here five finger grass, which is also known as sang foil. And that is also great for money, love, wealth, um, success, um, prosperity, good fortune, all of those things, okay? Hence, lucky hand, five fingers. So a lot of people use it in gambling and all that stuff. So you can use it for many things in all those areas I said. So I'm making it like triple strength, right? Because Hi John on his own can do that for you, but having the dragon's blood and the five finger grass is just amping it up even more so, okay? Then I'm just gonna take a little bit of some of my roux, okay? And I'm gonna add some roux here. Actually, a good amount, like about this much, okay, of roux. And I'm going to bless it, consecrate it. And what I'm going to do with this rule is I'm using it to break hexes, curses, anything evil that was coming at you in any direction of time from known and unknown senders, entities, energies, and energies that do not belong to you, evil plots, known and unknown, you know, black magic, evil eyes, any of those things, real will destroy it okay and turn things around because as you know high john conquers and he brings things right so he turns things around swiftly right so so does the root so that's why i'm amplifying it with these extra herbs and resins right to just give it that extra um now i'm going to be adding some extra virgin olive oil because i like it for it's an all-purpose oil and as this candle is all-purpose as well so it resonates with what I'm doing. Um, I like to also dilute it sometimes and I'll use like a mineral oil, like a clearer one. So it's not as heavy because olive oil is pretty heavy. So I'm going to leave about that much so that I can add at a later date. So it's not so thick. And then you can add some glycerin or vitamin E to preserve your oil as a natural way of preserving. Okay. And giving it a longer shelf life. So you can take your incense, and you can mix it up here around there if you like. Oh, and I was going to add, and I said, oh, I don't think I want to add it, but I'm going to add a little bit of vervain, okay? And vervain is great for um, dispelling, like, witchcraft, any type of evil that was done on you. Um, it keeps it away, it keeps evil spirits, anything that doesn't serve you, away from you. It keeps it at bay, okay? So I added a couple of pinches of that in there. I'm going to add some power, some divine power. And he's very great at dominating situations as well too, okay? So like if you want to do some more info and insight on um, Hi John, I would. If I were you, you cannot go wrong. If any root or anything or any oil you should have in your apothecary would be Hi John the Conqueror. Like if that's the only thing you can have, it's the one of the best, okay? So I'm going to give it a good shake and voila, okay? I make this one, I will be selling it on my, on my website. Right now it's currently on pause because I'm revamping and I'm doing a few things, but um, I'll be up selling more different oils that I haven't showcased on my channel and some that I have, okay? So it will come looking like this, very pretty, okay? Purple for dominating. 
and other herbs and ingredients that I have not listed because it is my personal recipe. This is a similar one to it. I just took out maybe like three or four of the herbs that I usually use in here in conjunction. Does not mean it doesn't work. It works just the same. But it's for those of you who cannot afford to purchase it or for some reason need it right now and want something that they can use that's tangible and it's easy to find some of the ingredients, this is really great to use, okay? So here's the candle. I already have it dressed with the same herbs at the top that I used in the video. And then I sprinkle some of my purple glitter, okay? I let it dry and stay like this for like a day or two. And then I have it charged so it's ready to burn. So what I would normally do is I would take my oil and then I would drop it in the nine holes that I placed inside of the candle, okay? And I go in the clockwise counterclockwise to get rid of and clockwise to bring forth okay conquer all so you state your intentions right so it's looking like that it's still pretty and then on the candle it has conquer over all evil conditions for luck power and i won't say this word because i don't like to use this word in magic okay and that is the word here strength why I don't like to use strength, okay, is because strength is associated to me with obstacles. It's associated with, to me, with hardship. Because in order to become strong, you need to go through more shit, basically. Pardon my French, okay? So, I like to take a black Sharpie, and then I take out the word strength on here like so. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just black it out. You can do it like that and leave it as is, or you can get like an Avery label. I think this is a 2312 size. Okay, that was the, the number of the box. So if you want to get the same size that I'm using, and I have mastery, victory, and triumphant, which I believe is what I would like to achieve. So I'm going to put mastery over strength. Because your words are very powerful. Spells are words. So be very careful and mindful of the words that you use when you're conducting any type of ritual, okay? So that being said, that is my candle. It's all ready and dressed to go. And voila, you have yourself a fairly easy oil recipe to make High John the Conqueror, all right? So stay tuned for more videos. I'll be posting for you guys shortly. And have enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.